The continuous random variable follows a uniform distribution. X following a continuous uniform distribution with A is 1 and B is 3. Sketch a graph of the distribution and if y is equal to 3x minus 2, write down the distribution of y and then find the probability that x lies between 1.4 and 2.6. Okay, to sketch it, I've done this um, GeoGebra applet, and again I will put the link in the notes of this video. You can change the values of b and a of the distribution. If I just change a, you can change it to make any distribution, any uniform distribution within a certain range. I think the range is from minus 5 to, to 5. Okay, So we know that the format of a continuous uniform distribution is 1 over b minus a between a and b. So this one we got is 1 over 3 minus 1, so it's 1 and a half between a is 1 and b is 3 and 0 otherwise. Okay, so we just need to uh, draw a sort of a rectangle. Okay, make sure the height of the rectangle is a half because the function is uh, 1 over a half. So this, so just make sure this is at uh, uh, the height of a half. Okay, that makes the area of that equal to 1. So this is 1, this is 3, and this has to be equal to a half. B. If y is 3x minus 2, write down the distribution of y. Well, if we take 1, and we know the where a is 1, so when x is equal to 1 in, in, the, in the y distribution, we get y is 3 times 1 minus 2, which is 1. And when x is 3, we get that y is 3 times 3 minus 2, which is 9 minus 2, which is 7. So y follows a uniform normal distribution, uh, no, sorry, a uniform distribution with a1 and b7. In the last part we're asked to find the probability of x lying between 1.4 and 2.6. So if we mark 1.4 and 2.6 on our diagram and that shaded there is what we represent the probability. This is just a rectangle, so we don't really need to use integration here. We can find the uh, probability of being between 1.4 and 2.6 by doing 2.6 minus 1.4, gives you that length there, times the height of the rectangle, which is a half, 0.5. That gives 1.2 times 0 0.5, and that gives 0 0.6. Now, that also can be represented on the GeoGebra applet. If you click here, this one here, it will give you the probabilities, okay? And you can change probabilities using these sliders if you wanted to. Just make sure you don't go off the fun function. Okay, and again, we can see we've got an answer of 0 0.6. Okay, so this has been a video to show you how to calculate probabilities of the uniform, continuous uniform distribution. I hope you've understood, and I thank you very much for watching. Just one more funny thing, sometimes it's called the rectangular distribution for obvious reasons. Thank you very much.